Stone and Business Manager. The next topic is forms of business organization. In according to the first term, that is the business. And business means any activity that keeps a person busy. However, business in its wider sense includes all individual and group activities directed toward earning money and acquiring wealth from production and exchange of goods or services. The main aim of doing any business to, to earn profit. That's a under the business. So there are four distinct forms of business organization that is sole proprietorship, partnership, joint store company, cooperative society. According to the first one, that is sole proprietorship. It is also known as one man business in retail business. Individual professional skill is essential. One person is so responsible for providing capital, for bearing the risk of the enterprise and also for day-to-day -day management of the business. So it is individual professional skill is essential according to the first one. So the main advantages of this category is is the secrecy of the business affairs can be maintained and it is most easily formed of all forms of business organization since no legal formalities are necessary for setting up this type of business and uh, so proprietorship ensures Quickness of decision, whereas in partnership, the length of the decision making process depends on the number of partners involved. And the disadvantages of the disadvantages are the liability of for business debt is unlimited, and it is very difficult for a single person to look after every aspect of the business. And there are no checks and control on the sole privilege. And the second is the partnership. In partnership, the person who have earned, who have entered into partnership are individual known as partners. There are some salient features of partnership uh, a partner cannot transfer his share to an outsider without the consent of the other partner and any part any profit made by the partnership must be distributed among the partners in the aggregate ratio usually in proportion of to the amount of capital invest invested by each partner in the firm and in partnership business organization two or more person two or more persons up to a maximum of 20 join together to share any profit made by the firm and the advantages of the partnership are partner may pool their individual reason to collect enough finance for smooth running of the business since any loss incurred by the firm is shared by the by all the partners it reduces risk of business as a whole and a decision to, uh, to start a partnership organization is quite important since partner can be as and when needed the, and the disadvantages of the partnership are
there are lots of disadvantages also uh, and this a large scale business a large scale business cannot generally be run on partnership basis because of the legal selling on the number of partners and also due to limited resources of the partners there is lack of stability of the business and uh, and a uh, dishonest partner may land the firm in difficulties uh, it has it has been seen that in certain cases it is difficult to maintain mutual understanding and harmony among the partners after the firm has worked for some times that's under the partner there are some kinds of partnership kinds of partnership like uh, partner in profit only nominal partner in inactive partner working partner secret partner and a minor partner if we compare these two forms that is the sole proprietorship and the partnership then what are the basic points are in sole proprietorship business a single person is the owner of the business and where in the partnership business two or more person up to a maximum of 20 can join together and uh, in sole proprietorship the business is managed and uh, controlled by the proprietor in the partnership the business is managed controlled by the partner in sole proprietorship the profit earned in the business is entirely belong to the proprietor and the partnership business the profit earned in the business is shared between partners in aggregate ratio in sole proprietorship the secrecy of the business affair can be maintained and in the partnership business the secrecy of the business is shared between the partners which are generally not disclosed to the public so that's all about uh, these two points and further is joint stock company according to the joint stock company company is governed by the Com company act and uh, it has to follow various provision of the act like uh, the company is formed by registration under company act 1956 the registration of the company is compulsory the public limited company can be formed by a minimum of 7 person with no upper limit the liability of the share holder are limited to the extent of unpaid value of share held by them and uh, there are number of numerous restriction imposed by the government on the company because they are governed by the company act and uh, there are some adva advantages advantages of the joint stock company are a joint stock company it is able to collect a large amount of capital it attract a wide range of investor by giving them the option to invest small or large sums of as they desire due to the large financial resources at its command a company can organize a business on a large scale and can effort to expand it further and uh, 
the risk of uh, for each member is reduced because it is diffused and spread over several number of members uh, of the company and uh, a company pays income tax at flat rates this means a higher profit it will have to be a lower tax liability as compared to the other that are all about the advantages and uh, of the uh, joint stock company the disadvantages of the joint stock company are the company form formation of a company is um, costly and uh, its time consuming process the company cannot take from prompt decision because of the time time lag between board meeting and the difficulty of getting the required call after the after this joint stock company the next one is the cooperative society cooperative society cooperative organization according to the cooperative society it is voluntary association of person who are financially strong they come together with an aim not to get profit but to overcome dis disability arising out of want of adequate financial resources their salary features are they share of, of the society cannot be transferred by members to other in case of a member want to withdraw his capital he has to return the shares a cooperative society conduct business on cash basis and does not allow credit facilities a cooperative society is required to be registered under the cooperative societies act 1912 and a cooperative society is a voluntary organization made by association of person and not a of capital there is no discrimination of as regard the membership of the society a member can withdraw for from society after giving due to due notice to that effect that's are some selling features of the cooperative society and the advantages of the cooperative society are the management of a cooperative society is based on the principle of one man one vote there is no discrimination of the on the basis of the number of shares held by the members the liability of the members of a cooperative is limited to a certain proportion of their capital contribution in the society and the lag earning of the cooperative lag lays down the maximum limited limit as to the rate of interest on the capital contributed by the by each members it also plays a limited or the dividend to be declared as share the balance of the surplus earned in any year can be utilized for the growth and development as well as expansion of the of a cooperative society that's the advantages on the other hand disadvantages are there is always shortage of capital for a cooperative society because it generally has poor and lower middle class persons as a, its member uh, due to uh, due to difference in opinion among the member they they may compete with one another to gain control over the affair of the cooperative which may result in advance adverse consequences for the business of the cooperative 
and the excessive state regulation and control over the functioning of cooperative affect their work working that's under the cooperative society so forms of business organization they are four parts thank you